the perfect heart. He came into power when his uh, forefathers, the grandfather and the father were involved in occultic backgrounds. They directed places of worshiping idols. They put up uh, uh, institutions where they were worshiping uh, other gods. And yet when he came to power, in spite of the occultic background that was round about him, he decided to change the scenery. He decided to go round about removing all these uh, idols, uh, burning them, pulling down the high places, uh, and instead challenging his people and his community to be dedicated and totally given to the Lord. And this is the commentary that the Bible says uh, about King Asa. The Bible says, 1 Kings chapter 15, verse 4, But the high places were not removed. Nevertheless, Asa's heart was perfect to the Lord all his days. A perfect heart. Is it possible for me to live a life where my heart is truly perfect before the Lord? We see here that there were some spaces where he did not do exactly everything the way it would have been done. But at least uh, he was moving in the right direction. At least uh, he had made some progress uh, before the Lord. At least there were some things he had destroyed. He was on his way towards becoming that perfect uh, heart that God desires of us. You see, what the Lord wants of me is not necessarily that I have come out and in one instant, uh, in one year, in one day, I'm totally perfect for we are works of grace that God continues to work in our lives as he makes us more and more like he wants us to be. And yet that progress, uh, progress, uh, progression should be evident uh, that we are actually moving in the direction that God wants us to be. And that direction is a perfect heart before the Lord so that when he comes, we will be like him because our hearts will be right in his sight. God bless you.